It used to be when you get a new upgraded camera on the way, you look forward to features being added. Now it's like you just look to see what did they take out. It was this spot right here last year. I did a video not too happy with Canon, but that was last year. Now we're on the applause video. Oh, come on, Canon, don't act like you didn't bring this on to yourself. And also don't act like you're not enjoying trickling out information of good news to people just to shut up that guy who's hanging out in, I don't know, backwoods of Darlington, South Carolina, like that dude in front of the barns, he's bashing us. Throw this info at him. Look at us now, look at you shine. All right, there's a lot to go over that I'm gonna go over really, really quick. We're gonna talk a little bit of spec stuff. Who's this thing for? The Canon R5, in case I did not mention that in the video already. And we'll speculate on the price range. Step over to the side, or yeah, I think that's a better side for graphics and things like that, right? Definitely not going over everything that's in this camera, but here's the big takeaways. Starting off with the 8K inside. 422 internal 10 bit recording. It tells me if there's no fan included, again, it's either got an awesome digit processor going inside this camera for the sensor, or they've got two of them that they have somehow switched into God mode where they don't blow up recording internal 8K. 4K going to 120p, which I don't really think has ever been in a Canon camera. I'm not sure about that. So they basically kind of jumped over, hey, we've got this awesome 24 frames per second at 1080p to 8K in a DSLR mirrorless style body. We we really gotta come up with what we call this DSLR mirrorless style body. It needs, it needs its own name. So for weddings, I'm wondering, how's that low light performance gonna be? I'm thinking in mirrorless, it should be pretty good. How good? That remains to be seen when people actually use this thing. What's this camera gonna be for? Is a great question. I'm thinking hybrid shooters. Myself, looking into my flippy out screen, which the R5 is gonna have on it. Gotta got your beat there, Sonny. If you are not a person who is super into stills, I would say is super into the video, and if you're not using the cameras to get a return on investment, ROI, I don't know exactly if this camera's gonna be for you. And finally, what's that price point gonna be about? I'm guessing between 35 and 5,000. That is my guess. Looking at those lenses like the 24 to 70, which is around the range of 3,000. Mm, lenses and body, we'll just see a small car. Let me know what you think this price point's gonna be down in the comment section below. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. I'm Jaeger from JaegerShots.com. Hit that like button if you like it. Subscribe and never miss a shot from JaegerShots.com. What do you think that day was like at Canon when somebody just walked in the room, like Rick and Morty style? It's like, we're, we're gonna throw it all in there, throw the kitchen sink in there. And somebody was like, I don't know about that. Oh, geez, Rick. We, no, 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 Morty, throw the kitchen sink into this camera. <laughs>